In this video, I'm going to share with you guys a true life childhood story that takes place when I am five years old and just starting kindergarten. My story begins with a conversation being had between my older brother Sean and my parents. A conversation, by the way, I'm completely oblivious to because I'm in my room taking a nap. My parents are informing my brother that they are going out of town that afternoon and they won't be back until the next morning. So he is responsible for making sure both of us get to school on time the next morning and obviously for watching me that night. I don't know what time it was when I woke up, but I do remember that it was getting dark outside and I also remember that I was the only damn person in the house. I was crying hysterically, going from room to room, thinking that this time somebody is going to be in there. Surely I'm not here by myself. And uh, I soon came to the realization that yes, I am alone in the house. Uh, my parents have abandoned me. It's getting dark and pretty soon the boogeyman is going to get me and I'm going to die. I don't remember if I had to risk life and limb but I remember that I was getting hungry and I somehow ended up with a box of cereal. Whether or not I had to climb counters and do crazy acrobatics to get it or if it was somewhere within my reach, I do not remember. I just know that I was sitting on the floor in my room, crying, trying to shovel the cereal into my mouth with snot and tears rolling down my face and I was hardly able to breathe because I had been crying so much. And then finally, Mr. Responsibility shows up, my older brother Sean, with a little group of his friends, sees that I have woken up and am freaking the hell out and he starts to panic. Oh Christy, I'm sorry, I thought I would be home before you woke up. Please don't tell mom and dad. After I had calmed down, he said that I could stay up late and watch a movie if I wanted to which I thought was freaking great. So of course, all was forgiven. I wasn't going to tell mom and dad because uh, quite honestly, my brother was my hero. I wanted to be just like him, so I probably wouldn't have told on him anyways, but uh, definitely staying up to watch a movie was a bonus. Something my parents had also mentioned to Sean was that I had my first show and tell the next day. Uh, so to make sure that I took something for it in case I forgot. But he forgot to make sure I took something to show and tell, which was fine because I was super excited about it and I remembered. So I took the movie that Sean let me watch. So now I'm going to show you guys the movie that I took to my very first show and tell. That movie was... <gasps> Baseballs! Yes, this is what I took to my first show and tell in kindergarten. Spaceballs. Bless that teacher because she must have thought this was a kid's movie, otherwise she would have known better. The only thing I really remember is sitting there laughing when Helmet comes and blasts the space ball in the crotch with the Schwartz. And I remember a little boy sitting next to me looking over at me and going, that was bad. It was funny to me. My teacher, whose name was Miss Calcano, runs over and you know how teachers always were when you were in school? They could never figure out how to operate the VCR or the TV. They always fumbled around trying to figure out how to get it to work and you're like five years old and you're in your mind telling them what to do. Like just push this button because you know. And they just always seem to never be able to work anything. So yeah, my mom got a call from the teacher and she was mortified. Um, so yeah. That's my really quick uh, fun story from my childhood and Spaceballs the movie.